A very good morning to all of you. In the last lecture, we have seen uh, what is meant by encoder and how to, how to construct different encoders. Then we have also seen the application of encoder circuit in the digital systems. Today we are going to see decoders. As I said in the previous lecture, your decoder does reverse operation of your encoding fun encoding operation. So if you want to recap, your decoder will have a circuit which decodes the information from a binary to the analog world or binary to analog quantity. So that means your decoder will have input a binary form and you are going to output. This output will represent numbers or symbols whatever it is. It is going to represent numbers or symbols which we use in day to day life. So for a n bit for a n input a decoder you are going to have 2 power n outputs. Only thing is only one output line will be activated. Only one output line activate a given point of time at a given time. So this is a very uh, basic information about the decoder it will be having an in, in inputs and two power n outputs and your input will be in the binary form and your output will be in the form of numbers like 0 to 9 or 0 to f or a to z whatever it is how you are going to decode your information you can have decoders 2 to 4 then 3 to 8 then 4 to 16 then 5 to 32 so these are all different decoder circuits. We'll, we'll go, we are going to construct these circuits in today's lecture. Now we will start with the simple decoder. 2 to 4 decoder. It, it's very clear as, as the statement itself stating that you are going to have 2 inputs and 4 outputs. That means you are going to have black diagram something like this. You are going to have two inputs A and B, and you are going to have four outputs. So I'll name those outputs as Y0 to Y3, Y1, and Y2. So this is your two to four decoder that I am going to build in a moment. Now let's start with circuit construction. Now you you are very clear that you need two inputs and four outputs. 4 outputs, I am going to take 4 AND gates as we did it in case of multiplexer, demultiplexer as well as encoder, we are going to use AND gate action for the decoding action also. Let's take 4 AND gates. Then I am going to take my A and B here. For the simplest, I am taking two lines, one for normal, one for complement line. So if you take this way, it is very easy to build the circuit without any confusion. A bar and now I am going to connect A bar and B bar to the first end gate. When both are zero zero my uh, gate one will be activated and output side I'm going to activate my output line Y0 bar B my second gate will be activated this gate will observe where I'm taking the circle for the contact purpose this is my Y1. When I take 0, 1, I am going to activate gate 2, G2, and I am going to output at Y1. Similarly, if I take 1, 0, one zero means A, B bar. In this case, I am going to activate my gate 3. And output will be updated at Y2. <coughs> 
and I make both one one. I'm going to activate my gate four. In this case, I'm going to activate Y three. Now the center thing will be in the box. Now the center thing will be in the box. Now you can correlate this box to a black diagram where you have two inputs, A comma B, where you have four output based on your A and B's uh, select lines or control lines. You are going to get the one of the output activator one of the output line will be activated if i press 0 0 y 0 will be activated if i press both one y 3 will be activated if you look at here if you give the numbering this is 1 this is 0 1 and 2 and 3 so it's actually taking the binary inputs that is either 1 1 or 1 0 or 0 1 whatever it is and producing a analog analog representation it is producing it take input 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and producing analog representation 0 1 2 3 and so on so that's how it is doing the reverse action of encoder job this is with a and gate the same circuit can be built with NAND gates also that we will see in, in a moment for the time being, we will try to see the same uh, 2 to 4 decoder with enable. As I said in the previous lecture, your enable will be useful in enable or disable the circuit as well as for the cascading. It is used for enable or disable or cascading purpose or there is one more use that is for, for building higher order to building higher order decoders from lower order for example if you want to construct 3 to 8 decoder i can use 2 to 4 decoder with enable okay so this is how you are going to use your enable so i'm going to I put one more input for all the end gates so that I can have my enable input. So this is my enable line. You can keep active or active depending on your interest. So in this case activate when enable is 1, your circuit will enable, when enable is 0, circuit disable. When circuit is enabled depending on the in select lines, one of the output line will be activated. When the enable is disabled, when enable is 0, it applies 0 to all the end gates. So you are going to get output to all the zeros. This is your 2 to 4 decoder with enable the same circuit can be implemented using NAND gate I'm going to show you in a moment how it's going to uh, work so before that I just want to tell you before that so when you take a active high output you have to look for the other other output lines also so if you look at here we are not written the other outputs because those are assumed as zeros but ideally when you when you do the real time experiment you are going to see all the outputs also your y1 y2 y3 so in this case this will be one rest will be zeros similarly in the second case y1 will be one rest y2 will be zero y3 will be zero and y0 will be zero similarly y2 case y2 will be one y3 will be zero y1 will be zero y0 will be zero similarly in this case also your y2 will be 0, y1 will be 0 and y0 also 0. This will be 1. So in, in, in case of decoder we are going to see 4 output. Only thing is here only one output will be activated. 
you can see here this year it is y0 activated then y1 activated y2 activated and y3 activated now i'm going to show you how we can construct same with the NAND gates and what kind of change we are going to see when you construct with the NAND. 2 to 4 decoder with NAND gates I have copied the previous now we'll, now what I am going to do I am going to add bubble to all the NAND gates it becomes NAND gates and this is my enable as usual now if you if you do it in this way what you are going to see is whenever your output is activated that particular gate will be showing zero so the whenever you see some output is zero that means that particular output line is activated suppose if we take both zero zero and if you write the outputs y zero y1 y2 y3 so you take both 0 0 your y0 will be 0 and rest will be 1 if you take 0 1 your y1 will be 0 rest will be 1 if you take 1 0 your y2 will be 0 rest will be 1 if you take 1 1 all are 1 except y3 if you look at here so this is like a active low notation so whenever you whenever you see zero and one particular output line that means that particular output line is activated so this is how we can also construct two to four decoder using NAND gate because in real time please remember we don't construct uh, circuits with normal end and NAND gates we are going to construct using only a NAND and NAND gates that's why i'm just showed one example how you are going to construct a 2 to 4 decoder using NAND gate only difference what you observe is in case of normal gates your output line will be activated whenever it appears whenever it appears with one output in case of NAND gate or NAR gate logic we are supposed to look for where output is zero whichever the output line is zero that is that line is activated now we will try to see how to construct 3 to 8 decoder with enable Now, now we will see how to construct 3 to 8 decoder. So, name itself is clearly says you need 3 input lines and 8 output lines. So, that means your circuit will be something like this. You are going to have 3 input lines A, B, C, and you are going to have out output 8 output lines Y0 to Y7. This is your 3 to 8 decoder so for this we need 8 end gates or NAND gates now you have your 8 end gates now I am going to take A, B, C as I said I am going to take one line for normal output one line for the complement output and similarly for B also one line for normal one line for the complement output for the first end gate I am going to connect A bar B bar C bar so this is Y0 next will be a bar B bar C this year Y1 and so on at the last indicate you are going to connect A B C So this year Y7 where your output is A, B, C, your Y0 will be A bar, B bar, C bar, your Y1 will be A bar, B bar, C. That means if you take a truth table, 
a b c and you are going to have output if all are 0 0 my y 0 line will be activated 0 0 1 y 1 0 1 0 y 2 0 1 1 y 3 and so on finally when you reach all ones your y 7 output line will be activated so this is your 3 to 8 decoder without enable if you want to add one enable line what you do is you can take one enable line and connect it to all the end gates with your enable you can keep here one more input enable so enable should be one as long as you are doing the decoding action the moment enable is zero you don't have to care about the inputs your out all the outputs are not selected none of the output is selected and none of the output line will be activated when enable is zero so this is all about your three to eight decoder now we'll try to see how to construct higher order decoder using a lower order decoders let's take first example construction of 3 to 8 decoder using 2 to 4 decoder so I'm going to use enable so first we'll take 1 2 to 4 decoder here and another 2 to 4 decoder here so these are the outputs I'm taking it as y0 to y3 and I'm taking this output as y4 to y7 so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a input here and b input here this a, a and b I'm going to take input for the second decoder also now I'm going to take third input see because for 3 to 8 decoder you need 3 input lines and third input I am making with enable one so I am going to connect one NOT gate here this will be connected to the first decoder here and second uncomplemented input will be given to the second decoder your C is nothing but enable line for both the decoders now if you look at your truth table so in this case I am considering A is my LSB and C is my MSB please very careful with this notation which is LSB which is MSB so I'm going to have C B A if you write the combination first will be all zeros 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 if you look at this first four combination of A and B your C is 0 when C is 0 if you look at here when C is 0 or your enable is C slash enable when C is 0 or enable is 0 your, your decoder 1 and decoder 2 your decoder 1 will be activated your decoder 1 will be activated and decoder 2 will be deactivated because you are going to get the 0 input to this second decoder as a result your first decoder is activated and you are going to change in A and B when it is 0 0 your Y 0 will be activated as a result your output will be y2 and y3 similarly if you take the rest other combination it will be 100 zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, and all ones so in this case if you look at here your enabler your C input is 1 in this case this 1 becomes 0 here that means your d1 will be off this time your decoder 1 will be off and your decoder 2 will be on stator activated as a result when when this is one this second decoder will be activated and based on your a and b inputs you are going to get y4 y5 y6 and y7 output. this is how you are going to construct a 3 to 8 decoder using 2 to 4 decoder you can try as a homework construct 4 to 16 using 
थ्री टू एट डी कोडर सो दिस ऑल अबाउट योर व्हाट इज मीन बाय डी कोडर हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द डी कोडर सर्किट हाउ वी कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट हायर ऑर्डर डी कोडर यूजिंग लोअर ऑर्डर डी कोडर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी कोडर Your first application of your decoder is decoder can act as a DMAX if you use enable if you use enable as a data bit as a data input. the second application you can also implement logic functions a decoder is also used decode your binary or bcd number 2 7 segment display so this is very very important application where you are going to keep your binary input to the a decoder circuit this binary input can be bcd form or can be a, a binary input okay and you are going to generate output line these output lines will be connected through a one more circuit i are going to use one more circuit this one more circuit will be connected to the seven segment display so the moment you give the bcd number the corresponding seven segment display will produce the analog number uh, decimal number this application we are going to see this very very important where decoders play a major role in Uh, converting your bcd numbers into a decimal numbers now we'll start one by one how your uh, decoder will act as a demultiplexer let's take and let's have a look so application 1 decoder as a dmux as you know your dmux will have one input that is your data input and you have n select lines and you will be having two power n output devices that means this the data will be distributed among two power n output devices and you are going to have n select lines so for our simplicity i am taking two select lines and it will be four output devices that means you are taking 2 to 4 dmax so i'm going to implement 2 to 4 dmax application or uh, 2 to 4 dmax action using 2 to 4 decoder i'm going to take 2 to 4 decoder i'm going to show you 2 to 4 dmax action so if i take so this is my a and this is my b and these are my output lines y0 y1 y2 and y3 a is my msb and b is my lsb and this is my output now what i'm going to do is i am going to have my enable here so i'm i'm rep i'm connecting enable with my data that means that enable input pin will be connected with the data input which i want to transfer to the output side that means your enable becomes a d in now if you look at the action for the simplicity let's take your data bit is always 
you have transferred the data bit 1 to the output devices that means your e is 1 okay when e is 1 when your data is 1 your both are 0 0 your y 0 get output 1 that means your this data is transferred to the y 0 line we take 0 1 your y 1 will be 1 and 1 0 your y 2 will be 1 and 1 1 your y3 will be 1 it's very clear from this truth table whatever the data I have given at the enable pin the same data is appearing at the output side okay if I make a my data bit 0 if I make 1 1 in this case also my y3 will show the output of 0 that means if you look at these two instants when, whenever you change the data, your data to 1 to 0, the same thing is reflecting at the output side. Only problem here is, when you keep your D bit 0, all the outputs also 0, it's very difficult to figure it out. Only problem here is, when D is 0, your output, your Y0 to y3 also 0 it is difficult to observe it is difficult to observe since we know for the given input combination only that particular output line will be activated so we can just shuffle the input 0 to 1 1 to 0 and you can see the same change that will be observed at the a particular output port. This is how you can use your two to your two to four decoder as a two to four DMAX as a data distributor. This is a first application of your decoder. Similarly, you can also use three to eight decoder as three to eight DMAX provided use with the enable and you connect your enable input with the data input okay so that's why we have we don't have special ICs for the dmux demultiplexers we are going to use same IC for both decoders as well as dmux this we have discussed already in the demultiplexer case now take the second application logic function implementation let's take example I want to implement full adder logic function that means you are supposed to implement that means you are supposed to have three inputs and two output lines one for sum and one for a carry so let's first we'll make the truth table let's take a b c a is my lsb b is my msb please make sure all the time and this is my sum and this is my carry just we fill here up we have full added truth table so this year a full added truth table if you look at here so we have three you have three input combination that means you can use three input decoder that means three to eight decoder you can use but you are having eight output lines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one more circuit one more circuit outside outside decoder to make only two outputs 
one for sum one for carry so to do that what i'm going to do see that it's supposed to see in which case it is getting output if you look at your 3 to 8 decoder your a b c are your inputs and your outputs are y0 to y7 now we need to find out out of these eight output line which places you are getting output high for the particular so if you look at this is your y1 y2 y4 and y7 similarly if you look at for carry y3 y5 y6 and y7 that means i'm going to use one R gate for these four output lines and another R gate for these four output lines. Okay, this output of these two R gates will produce a sum as well as carry. Now I'm going to show you how to implement the circuit using a decoder. So I'm going to take my 3 to 8 decoder here. So I'm going to have my A, B, and C, and Y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 now as you can see so for some we have to connect y1 y2 y4 and y7 so that means i'm going to take y1 then y2 1 y4 and y7 with an R gauge this will be our sum and 3 5 6 7 I am going to connect to a 3 then 5 then 6 and 7 I am going to connect with a another R gate this is going to produce a carry and just leave this Y0 out now if you change ABC we change ABC inputs to this decoder you are going to get the sum and carry let's take a simple example let's make all 1 1 make all 1 1 your y7 will be activated this one will be appeared at here as well as here that means you are going to produce sum 1 and carry 1 if i make if i make 1 1 0 that means your y3 should be activated that means y3 will be 1 this one will be applied to the carry that means the carry becomes 1 and if you look at here your y0 your y1, y2, y4 and y7 are all zeros. You are supposed to get the output 0. So when you apply all ones, you are getting sum 1 and carry 1. When you apply 1, 1, 0, you are producing sum 0 and carry 1. This is how you can implement your decoder for the logic function implementation. Now we will see the last application. How you are going to use decoder to display the decimal numbers whenever you give the a BCD input to the decoder.